years. Uh, I was going to tell you just a little bit of my story, how I got in this. Then I'm going to turn it over to Fred. But man, I met Fred when he was like 17 years old. Uh, we done storm work together. So I know some of y'all know what that is. Uh, we worked together for, I, I don't know, a lot over the past year. But to uh, make a long story short, Fred called me like seven years ago. He said, I found the tip. I found the way that is going to take us to the top. And I was all ears. Like I Fred has always been straight up with me. He's always told me the truth. And we always done good. We always make a lot of money. So uh, we uh, get to talking about it, and everything sounded good. And we made it right up to the part where he said it was network marketing. And I said, you had me and you lost me. I'm not in. I don't want no part of it. And I said that because I was ignorant to it. I didn't know anything about it. What little bit I did know kind of scared me. That was times like doing this right here. But uh, he, he never let up. Seven years later, he, get, he hit me a few times again. Just never aggravated me with it. Just always let me know the options were. And he got to a Saturday. I was working on a strip job. I was running a co loader. I hated my job. I hated going out on a Saturday. Just a pure despised life. But I was getting ready to go. And I'm flipping through Facebook. And there's Fred on vacation with me. Lobster fish. <laughs> and I commented something that wasn't very nice. <laughs> well, he commented right back and said, Hey, you got to make a change if you want things to change. And it really hit home. And I started talking to Jamie more about it, and we we made it happen. And it's been it's been great ever since. I mean, we're not to the top, but we're well on our way, and we would love for all of y'all to go with us. Uh, I want to turn it over to Fred. This is Fred Graves, yep. Tampa, Florida. Woo -woo. Good job, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Right here, it's funny. It, it's funny looking back at your life and how you know you get curveballs and where you end up. He, he said it, you know, we've been chasing storm. That's what I did back in the day. And, um, it's crazy. Now I'm in West Virginia talking about network marketing. It's crazy. Um, I'll share my story with you guys because I think it's important. Anybody hears about an opportunity, the first thing you do is size up, will it work for me, right? I do know something for a fact. If you had a chance to invest in Facebook, knowing what you know now, you would have, right? So that's kind of the struggle that we have in life. We just don't know the outcome. And if you're not familiar with network marketing, you may have preconceived notions. You don't really know what it's about. You've seen the science of our products. You may go, well, I don't have a background in a doctor. How am I going to have success, right? So when you hear my story, you'll realize anybody can do this, really. But I grew up in Tampa, Florida. My family subcontracted to even doing disaster relief work. That's how we met. Um, I knew that's what I was going to do in life. I had a passion for running heavy equipment. I saw the money it was made. And so I was about 16 years old, sitting around with my buddies, and they're like, you know, what college are you going to go to? What, are you, what sports are you going to play? And I'm like, you know, I'm just ready to go to work. And they're like, well, what, yeah, but what, what college, right? Because the mindset of society is you got to go to college to be successful, right? I'm like, you know, that, that part's not making sense to me. I know I was going to run a business. It didn't make sense to have a professor teach me how to run a business, and that dude's not running a business. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go drop out of school, and I'm going to find successful people, and I'm going to follow what they do. Because in life, if someone has something you want, common sense says it's doable, right? and do what they've done, you're going to get it. So I dropped out of school at 16, started doing storms. He was actually working with my uncle, and I showed up and started running my own crew, and he was one of the truck drivers. And then I realized that West Virginia has the best truck drivers in the world. <laughs> and I finally, I got to taste that today, because when you pull that rig and the truck behind it, holy crap. We've been on some roads today that I should have not been on. Um, so now I know why these boys can drive so good. But, um, so I dropped out of school. I just surrounded myself with successful people in the storm business. He told you we did really good. Um, so I had a taste of making money and freedom because we would literally go clean up the storm and wait for the next one. I uh, made my first million at the age of 24. And, you know, the economy changed pretty heavy in 08. You guys remember that, 08, 09. 
Well, the storm business did too. It got flooded out. Back in the day when we started, we were it. So there's a lot of money. And then every year, more people would show up. More people would show up. So when we cleaned up the three storms that hit Florida, I was bidding against eight people. And by the time we got to Katrina, I was bidding against eight people. And so what happened is these jobs just went to people who were bidding jobs to get the job. And I love working, but I like working for free. So I found another opportunity. I bought a chips of mine in the Dominican Republic and went all in, moved to the Dominican Republic for about a year, was mining gypsum. When the economy shifted, my investors backed out from under me. So I came back to the U.S. in August of 2009. No car, no house, started my life over. And honestly, the only reason I share that is every single one of you guys know people that got hit with the economy. And why I love what I do is I'm not going to sit here tonight and talk about theory or what could be, because I was in those seats. And I can talk in confidence because I'm living proof of what can happen if you make the choice of change, right? So November of 2009, this came in my life. My sister and brother-in-law showed me an investigative report. And I gotta be honest with you, investigative report came up, ABC News, this dorky scientist with a lab coat starts talking all these big medical terminology. I didn't understand anything of what he was saying. I'm gonna tell you what I saw. What I saw is we live in a world where technology is changing everything, right? Every day technology is getting faster, it's getting more convenient, in society, we want the best available thing to get our hands on, right? So I was searching for a way to position myself in front of the masses. And all this technology that was changing, I was just on the consumer side. So I'm watching this investor report, and if you watch the news, stop. It's all negative crap, right? And I'll give you a tip for tonight, whether you want to do this with us or not. Don't allow things to come in your life if you can't control it. You can't control the news. It's all negative crap, and trust me, to wear on I don't watch the news. But I'm smart enough to know if it says investigate report, it's about to get juicy, right? They're there for the juice, right? You don't, you don't have the news channel show up at an airport and go, look, another successful airplane just landed, right? They're there when the crash happens. Yeah. So investigate report, they're investigating this company called Life Vantage with this scientist. And what caught my attention is the scientists didn't just sit there and explain what the product did. They did a blood test on national TV. This blood test, they drew the reporter's blood, put them on this product Life Vantage was representing, and in two weeks it lowered 45% of something called oxidative stress. I didn't know what that was, okay? Here's what I found out. It's why you age. It's why disease happens. For the last 30 years, the medical industry has been researching oxidative stress. The proof's there. It has nothing to do with our company. Go read what the medical industry's proven. Oxidative stress is why we age. It leads to every disease there is, and there is nothing you can do about it. I don't care if you're 2% body fat, you eat grass. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have oxidative stress, disease will happen, and that's just the fact of life. There's nothing you can do. So I saw this investor report. Usually when you see investor reports, they're not positive outcome. Bottom line is the scientists in this company debunked ABC News. Yeah. What I started researching, I'm like, okay, we've got the solution the medical world has been looking for. With 20 years of patents, this company's publicly traded and trading stock on the NASDAQ. It's not just somebody's dad down the street. They're on the NASDAQ. So I'm like, publicly traded company, patents, the solution the medical world is looking for, and I go, ain't nobody gonna listen to me. I dropped out of school at 16. I know dump trucks and semis and diesel fuel. I know nothing about the medical world. Why are they gonna listen to me? And then you look at all the science and the institutions that everyone in this room and everyone else in the world already trust and put their life in the hands of American Heart Association, Harvard, Duke, LSU, the Institute of Aging. These are the guys that are putting their reputation on the line saying, this is where medicine's heading. So I'm like, well, this is a no brainer. They don't have to take, it's not, they're not listening to me. It's not my reputation. It's the reputation of people they already trust. All I have to do is go, hey, have you tried this new restaurant? Go eat at it. Hey, have you guys saw this new movie? Only though, those people, they don't pay you. And with this opportunity, I could have got paid for letting people know there's science they need to know about. So it was a no brainer for me, guys. I literally, after a 20 minute conversation, I enrolled. And when I tell you we were broke, we were dating at the time. We were renting a bedroom from a friend of mine. We had a $1,200 purple minivan because I could work out of it. And we were sharing a car because my truck got repoed, her car got repoed. And I'm there, I'm like, this is it. And I call her, I'm like, hey, get all our money together. And she started laughing. She's like, what money? 
I'm like, no, I'm not kidding. Get our money together. We're doing this. And I'm not kidding you. Her laughter went to tears. And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about, but if we do this thing, you're going to have leaflets with 200 bucks to our name. And I just said simple words. I said, if we don't change our life, don't expect it to change. Right? This is an opportunity that we can partner up with a public traded company. The science is there. All that we got to do is put people in front of it. And my, my mind kept going back to, I don't care how much you like your page or beeper, you don't use it anymore. Motorola does not make pages anymore, does it? Because the time is gone. So the point is, if the world is going to shift and I can position myself in front of the masses, that's opportunity. That's all it is. So I said, this is it. And what I love about it, I didn't have to go to school. I didn't have to read a no student book. They had a system in place. All I did was follow the system, seriously. And, and we doubled our money in two weeks. And she started liking me a little bit. We got money. <laughs> and I realized that the product was like changing because we started having people have results. We had a couple meetings with doctors that were like, holy crap, because they understood the science. And I go, we're going to make twice as much money. I'm going to enroll you. So a little bit of money we did have, I took it again and spent it and got her in the position, right? Um, in 16 months, we were at 10 grand a month residual. Month 28. Think about this. It's not a long time. What were you doing 28 months ago? That's a little over two years. But in two years, I went from sleeping on the couch to my check was $40,000 that month. Here's the difference. I didn't have workman's comp. I didn't have general liability. I didn't have diesel fuel. I didn't have blown tires. I didn't have none of it. That was $40,000 that came to my family was mine. And guess what? Because you have a home-based business, everything's a tax write-off. Why do you think I got life damage on a three hundred thousand dollar motor home? Because it's a tax write-off. Everything I do is a tax write-off. My boat's got life bands on it. It's a tax write-off. I'm going lobster again next week. It's a tax write-off. <laughs> so you see why this is exciting. So I want you guys. I'm going to play a video for you guys. And I was worried about Wi-Fi, so this is an older one, but it'll really explain Nerf Two activation and why we talk so much about product, guys is I don't want you to think that we're in product sales, but it's not. It's not sales. After we're done with a little overview presentation, we're going to stick around until they kick us out. Um, I'm going to answer every question there is. And what I love about it is we're, we're, everything's transparent. There's nothing to hide. Okay? So pound me with the questions. Um, if I don't know the answer, I'll make it up. It's not a big deal. Okay? But you guys have to understand why this science is so big. When you connect the dots to understanding what this is doing, and by the way, I can't put this many people in New York City. I can't put this many people in Miami. So I know you guys probably know everybody, cousins and uncles, and everybody knows everybody because it's a small town. But when you realize that the world's going to be on this technology and no one knows, it'll connect the dots of why the opportunity is so massive, all right? So I'm going to play this video, and I'll come back up here and talk some more. <clears throat> radicals are naturally occurring molecules that can cause serious damage in your body. If free radicals are allowed to overwhelm your body's ability to fight them, they can adversely alter lipids, proteins, and DNA, triggering a number of health concerns. Fortunately, scientists have made a remarkable breakthrough that promises to give your body a natural aid in the fight against free radicals. It's called NRF2 activation. And according to researchers, it's a powerful process that stimulates antioxidant production and can wake up your body's ability to stay healthy. Understanding NRF2 activation begins with understanding how oxidative stress caused by free radicals affects your body. Free radicals are a natural result of your body's metabolic processes. Under normal circumstances, your body also produces antioxidants, which neutralize free radicals and limit the damage they can do to your cells. It's a bit like having a factory in your cells that produces enough antioxidants to keep the free radicals under control. But exposure to x-rays, ozone, cigarette smoke, inflammation, air pollution, industrial chemicals, and even exercise can overwhelm the body's natural responses to free radicals, allowing them to wreak havoc on your cells and your health. 
Over time, the damage to your cells and DNA turns off the power in the cell's factory, reducing our ability to create antioxidants and leaving us vulnerable to premature aging and health concerns. Fortunately, science has given us the ability to turn the power back on. NRF2 activation. NRF2 is a protein messenger that binds itself to DNA and is a master regulator of the body's aging process. Through the study of nutrigenomics, scientists have discovered that certain phytochemicals found naturally in foods turn on our ability to create antioxidants to combat aging and preserve health. Protandum is specially formulated with an optimal blend of these phytochemicals found in foods like turmeric and green tea. This patented blend is formulated to turn on the NRF2 biochemical switch that creates and releases the antioxidants your body needs to fight free radicals. And what do scientists say about NRF2 activation? In just the last 10 years, researchers have published more than 500 studies about the power of NRF2 to activate your body's natural response to free radicals. One recent peer-reviewed study from Washington State University calls NRF2 activation one of the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthroughs in the history of medicine. For more than a decade, Life Vantage has been the leader in developing effective natural NRF2 activation supplements like Protandum. We're excited to share the power of this breakthrough to create a healthier life for you and your loved ones for years to come. Life Vantage, activated by science, inspired by life. Okay. I don't understand any of that. So, I, I have about a thousand doctors in my organization. Turn the lights on. Thank you. Uh, a thousand doctors in our organization now. I didn't know any of them. It's the power of networking. Um, what I like to is to explain things layman, right? For the average person. Let me explain what's going on, okay? The reason why we age, think about something. From the time you're born to 20, you're not aging, you're growing. You're getting bigger, you're getting stronger, you're getting healthier, right? Whenever your body quits doing this, 16, 17, 18, we're all different. When your physical body stops growing from a height standpoint, not only do you quit growing, but the enzyme production slows down. Survival genes, enzymes, the same enzymes that were protecting your body, right? So what happens is we start taking supplements. Supplements are genes, guys. They were designed to supplement where your body's deficient, okay? And so we're not here talking about, about supplements because everyone of us know great supplements that, have, that help tremendously. Here is we just found a better way. These products don't supplement the body, okay? They're not putting good stuff in. They're activating the body. They're turning the body back on. It's pretty cool, I can go around the like, what do you do, like, I, I turn you on, right? Because that's honestly, that's what these products do. They're, they're turning the body back on. And you heard it. What it is, NERF2 is a neurological pathway, and its job is to make cells and enzymes. What happens is it starts slowing down. They're not making enough to protect your body. All our products do is saying, hey, go back to work, right? That's why it's such a big deal. We know this is where medicine's headed. The concept of taking a supplement in eight to nine years, it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be the same concept of you having a page. It's just times are changing. The point is this, if everything around you is changing, I ask you this, are you changing? Because everything else is around you. So here's the exciting part about it. Is we've taken this technology, turning the body back on, because we know that's where medicine's heading, and we put it in a skincare line. So now we have the only skincare line in the world with patents on it, okay? We put it in an energy line. It's not your typical monster Red Bull that boosts your energy. It makes your brain function better, okay? We put it in weight management. It's not just quit eating food and drink protein, you lose weight. It makes your body work better, right? That's what the products are doing, is they're making the body work to its full potential. So you see what I'm saying? I want you to understand the products, power, when you understand the product and where this thing's heading, the business just tags right along. Does that make sense? So it's pretty exciting to be part of something this big this early. We also have a product for your dog. Dogs age seven times faster than a human. They have seven times oxidative stress. So the results were so profound with this and animals that we made a product for dog. Why? Because parents spend more money on dogs than their kids, right? So we need to make a product. 
We've got more products we just launched. Um, NERF2 is a neurologic pathway. We found there's another neurologic pathway called NERF1, produces the mitochondria. So now we own both. So you guys understand from a business standpoint, pretty exciting because I'm, I'm part of the board of the company that picks names. And so when we were talking about NERF1 and picking a name for it, they're like, well, we need to name it Protan. I'm like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why would you have Protan NERF2 and Protan NERF1? And like, well, you do understand the importance of being first to market, right? Creating a brand. And I'm like, of course I do. So let me emphasize to you guys why this is such a big deal of uh, being first to market and where we're positioned. When you cut yourself, what do you ask for? Band-Aid. Band -Aid. When you need to blow your nose, you ask for a Kleenex? Yeah. You guys understand those are companies? Those are the first companies to brand those products, okay? Kleenex is a tissue, but Kleenex is the biggest brand. And I don't care the next medical adhesive strip, how many billions of dollars a company spends to market it, they will never take away that that's called a Band-Aid. Get it? That's how important it is to be first to market. So the world is now understanding, wait a minute, we're not gonna make supplements, we can turn the body back on. We're gonna change the concept of adding to the body and we're gonna activate the body, okay? So it's gonna be a trickle effect and all these companies, and I use Motorola, Motorola doesn't make pagers anymore. They were the biggest in the market for in, in pagers. Now they make cell phones, right? So the shift's coming. Think about something. The world is just now finding out about Nerf 2. We're so far ahead, it's not even funny. They don't even know Nerf 1 exists. So the power of connecting those names and being first to market, when this company does have competition, if and when, right? The cool part about it is, well, there's another Nerf 2 product. Great. What about your Nerf 1? So Protanum, we did that for the branding concept. Makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna transition a little bit to the business opportunity, okay? Because I want you to understand the power of leverage. A lot of people go through life working their butt off, working Monday through Friday, living for the weekends, and at the end of the day, I don't know why you guys had married, got married and had kids, but I used to think my job was to just provide for my family. Problem is, if I'm just providing for my family, where is all my time being spent? Think about that. I mean, if you're 67 years old, you've done your job, you worked your butt off, you provide for your family, great. Just think about the time that you had with your family. Did you spend more time trying to provide or with them? Did you ever stop and think about that? So the concept is your biggest asset is your time. What are you doing to gain your time back? Well, traditionally, if you're trading time for money, you're never gonna get it back. I don't care how successful you are in traditional business, trust me. We know some very successful people in the circle that we hang with. But guess what? They're working all the time. I'm 37, I get to be a full-time dad. That's the reason why my kids are, because we, we, we work play. I'm doing a meeting tonight, and we're gonna ride four wheels tomorrow, and then we're gonna go to Charleston, I'm gonna do a meeting there, and then we're gonna hang out in Charleston. I've been at, at uh, Banner Elk the last five days with some friends. We work play, but my kids are with me. So the exciting thing is what I get to do is I get to show people a product they're gonna be on anyway. You guys understand that? All your friends and family don't know about this yet. They're gonna be on this anyway. They're gonna be on it from you or someone else, okay? I mean, literally, that's why we use the cell phone because everybody you know, if they wanna communicate, they use a cell phone. They don't use pagers. In the next 10 years, when people understand that this is out there, the shift's happening. I wanna paint this picture for you. If we lost power in this building right now, we could supplement the energy with a generator, right? Make sense? So that's supplementation. Let me ask you a question. When the power comes back on, do you need the generator? Think about that. Billions of dollars are being spent on supplements every year. But when the power comes back on, you don't need the generator. When the power comes back on, you don't need the supplement. And we got the power back on. Does that make sense? You guys see why this is such a big deal? It's not sales. People look at this and they go, I'm not gonna sell my friend's product. Don't sell your friend's product. We don't want you to. And if you're a distributor and feel like you're selling people, you probably are to stop it. And we'll talk about that later when we do some training. But the bottom line, we're sharing information. I mean, at the end of the day, Free Radicals is creating aging and you have the only solution. Is that exciting? You have the only solution that can slow the aging process down. You think you're gonna bother your friends to let them know that you have a solution? Tell you what, in eight to 10 years when they find out and they found out you knew about it, you think they're gonna be happy with you? <laughs> think about it. This is how serious this stuff is. People ask me all the time, well, I'll put it this way. 
I, the day I enrolled, we left, I left Brand's house at 9.30 at night. I didn't go to bed until 1 o'clock. I called 40 people. And for like, you call people at 12 o'clock at night? I'm like, people die at midnight. <laughs> right? Is that, is that a true story? Yeah. My car got repoed in the middle of the night. But yet, I'm going to call them and tell them about an opportunity of a lifetime. Like, this is how big this is, guys. We're not talking about selling someone and bothering them. We're not bothering people. We're changing lives. If, I'm going to ask you a question. And I know some of you are like, I love my job. Well, let me ask you a question. If money had no merit and there was no option and you had as much as possible, would you go to work on Monday? Ha, gotcha. See the difference? So the point is, a lot of people like talking about money because 75% of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. I never understood why people don't like talking about money. And I'm telling you what. If you're worried about your check clearing before your bills do, I don't want to talk about money either because it's controlling you. Get it? And here's what I really love about what I do, guys. What I love about what I do is when I did chase storms with Adam and we made a lot of money, when I saw people that didn't have money, and I'm embarrassed to say it, I just didn't know, I just thought they were lazy. If you didn't have money, I just thought you were lazy. I dropped out of school and I busted my butt and I made money. And that was my assumption. I didn't realize that I don't know your background. I don't know if you had a dad empowering you. I don't know if you had a good upbringing. I don't know your background. It's not fair for me to judge. What I love about this is I don't care your background. I don't care your color. I don't care if your upbringing was good or bad. If you want a choice of change, I can help you. That's what I like about it. I'm gonna tell you what I really like about this opportunity. Is when I made my first million at 24, didn't help anybody but me. Nobody. In this business model, if you wanna be successful, guess what you have to do? You have to help other people. There's no one going to go to the top of this business because they're good. I don't care how good you are at whatever you do. You ain't going to get to the top of this business by yourself. You have to empower people, work with people, and help people. It's, it changes you as a person. It makes you a better person. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is an opportunity for the masses. That's what I love what I do. All it takes is a desire of change. If you have a desire of change, the science is there. We don't need you to understand it. You're just going to put it in front of people. But if you have a desire of change, you can make the change happen for yourself. So it's pretty exciting to be in a position where I get to go help other people. Because I'm going to tell you what, in traditional business, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. If you want to make more money, what do you do? Go work another job. If you make more money, go work more hours. It's you, 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 you. Right? It doesn't make much sense. If you want to make more money than this, you need to go help some more people. And we develop leadership, personal growth. People feel like they're a part of a community, right? People are part of Life Age because they feel like, wow, I want this. And I'm going to tell you what, when you meet the top leaders of the company, what you're really cool, remember when you were in kindergarten, your parents were like, you know, the five people you hang around are the people you're going to end up with? Isn't it, it, it kind of funny that if you, if you have a group of people and they all, if one has a tattoo, usually they all have tattoos. Or if you're in a group and one smokes, they all smoke, right? Or you have the, the, the success where you, if you surround yourself with people that you become. You surround yourself with people that, A, we just want more time with family, that's it. Money becomes irrelevant, to be honest with you. When you're not worried about how much things cost, it's not, it's, we're not excited to make more money because we're materialistic. It's because it's irrelevant. That's the difference, and that's the option that we're having. So it's exciting to be a part of something this big. I'm going to tell you, when I got involved, I didn't even know network marketing. He said network marketing, turn them off. Here's how I work, okay? Because I'm sure you're going to have friends and family tell you these things don't work. Here's the thing. When I came back from Dominican Republic broke, my friends and family didn't pay my bills. So I really didn't care what they thought about it. This was my opportunity. Okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, your Facebook status really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people think. Because they don't pay your bills. Quit worrying about what people think about you. It comes down to your choice in life. Okay? But when I was at rock, rock bottom, I had to dig myself out. And this was my chance to do it. So I'm going to tell you, I went and did my homework. I didn't go say, hey, what do you think about network marketing? Because I didn't care. Not a bad way. Okay? But I just went to, let me tell you what I found. I found that there's companies, companies, doing a billion dollars a month selling detergent and soap. I don't know if you know this, but you get that stuff anywhere. Okay? And the pink Cadillacs, those ladies high five them because they're doing $8 billion a year selling makeup. So I don't know how your brain works. I'm gonna tell you how mine works. Because my cousin and friends told me I was crazy and stupid 
Those guys got to go work on Monday, so go figure, okay? But when I did my own research and I saw a company doing a billion dollars a month with detergent and soap, a company over here doing eight billion a year of makeup, what I realized is this business model has to work. If they're having that much success with this business model that people say don't work, explain that. Show me how to not work and make a billion a month. Please. Here's how my mind works. Let me ask you guys a question. How many women here use Mary Kay? It's fine if y'all do it. All right? Three. Okay, so let's just say 40. We'll say 30%. 30% of women use Mary Kay. Okay? So follow me. That company's doing $8 billion a year in this business model, and 30% of the women in this room use them. The women that did raise their hand, let me ask you a question. If Mary Kay was the only company that had makeup, would you use them? Yeah. Yep. You see the difference? It's a game changer. You have exclusive rights. It's never happened before in network marketing. There is no, my product's better than yours. There is no product like this. You can't go to your doctor and your prescription to slow cellular aging. I didn't say that, the FDA says I could say that. It's exciting stuff. When you have the Institute of Aging saying, this is the only product in the world that they found to extend life. That's all natural without side effects. I didn't say that. Like Vance didn't say that. The Institute of Aging said that. You guys connecting with dots here? Why this is so exciting? So the opportunity is yours. And here's what I tell people. The product's for everybody. Don't be silly. $1.50 a day to literally slow aging. I mean, if you think $1.50 is too expensive, do you guys have Starbucks here? No. I can't even use that. This is the first <laughs> time I can't use my Starbucks joke. Um, well, let me tell you something. In other cities, there's this place called Starbucks. <laughs> and the, the line is wrapped around the building for $6 coffees. Yeah. Go figure. So $1.50 to slow aging, trust me, what you'll realize is people will spend whatever they see value in. And I don't care if you're successful, financially you're good or bad, Listen, money is irrelevant when your health is in trouble. That's right. You guys get it? Yeah. That's why this is such a big deal. So we will stick around. I'm going to answer any questions you guys have. Um, and we'll talk about the training, the business, and how we do it. It's not sales. It's not. If you want to challenge me, ask me, and we'll talk about it. But I will tell you this. The business is not for everyone. I'll just be blunt and tell you this. You know why? Because there's a lot more people out there that think we're crazy. Okay? And I'm not kidding, guys. I, there, this company, we cannot put this many people in Miami. You can't put this many people in New York City. 10 million people live there. And you're talking about the only products in the world that slows cellular aging. You guys realize why this is such an opportunity? And I remember talking to Adam, and you're like, well, you know, I'm going to live in a small town. I'm going to tell you how to build a network. Go find a small town. That's how you build a network. It's harder to build a network in big cities. You know how you build a big city? You go find a lot of small markets, and it will lead you to the big cities. That's how you build networks, guys. I've enrolled 87 people, and it's turning to 48,000 people. I don't know 48,000 people, okay? But you know what's crazy? 44,000 are customers. 40, 44, so it's what, 90, 85% of my check are people consuming a product, have nothing to do with the business. You know, what, you know what's awesome about that? Is when you're on the product, you stay on it. That's right. That's right. That's residual. That's leverage. It's exciting stuff. I'm going to tell you one last story about the power of leverage. Because of my wife and the kids are in the back. We were living in, we had a house in Tampa. We were, we were finally getting the thing rolling. How old was Chesney when Trent was eight months old? When I was eight months pregnant? Yeah. 20, 20 months. So, 17, huh? So, uh, 20 months. So my daughter's 20 months, 19 months old. Casey's eight months pregnant, swollen, like... And she's like, I need help. And I'm wide open building my advantage, right? Meetings, traveling like crazy. And she's like, I need you. I need help for me, and I need help with that kid. Okay? <laughs> and I was like, it was like Tasmanian devil to stop. And I called my leaders, and I go, guys, listen, I got to step back. You guys got this. And I'm going to tell you something that's powerful. Because every single one of you guys know that sometimes life hits, done. not You don't know when life's going to hit. So my question is, do you have that backup plan set up? Let me just tell you how the power of leverage, okay? Because when that happened, our check was $52,000 that month. And I pulled back, and I did not make a phone call for two months. And two months later, my check was 56000 that month. 
I got a $4,000 raise in two months. I didn't make one phone call. And I was able to be a father and a husband because I needed it. Does that make sense? Yes. That's the power of leverage. It's powerful. Okay? You dig the well before you're thirsty. People are always talking about the economy's good or bad. Let me tell you something. If you're about the economy being good or bad, you're in trouble. The economy doesn't control my economy. Because I don't care if the economy's good or bad. When you're sick, you are looking for a solution. And we have it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the reason why I'm telling you why the business isn't for everyone is you're gonna have friends and family that tell you you're crazy and stupid. Okay? And I'm just gonna tell you, some people can't handle it. I don't care. Trust me, I've been through a lot. But when your friends and family aren't paying your bills, it really doesn't matter. If I would have allowed a friend that told me no, I wouldn't be here. Get it? You see the power of that? Seven years of a no. I didn't give up. I didn't sell them. We just stayed in contact. Guess what? My life was changing and his wasn't. And it came down to he wanted to make the choice of changes. Get it? Yeah. So, again, when we start getting into training, you guys will realize it's not sales. I didn't pound him for seven years. We had conversations. And I was his friend, and I never forgot that. Does that make sense? So I'm excited for what's going on in this area. You guys got some phenomenal leaders in this room. If you guys don't know it, you need to know that it's not just, you know, it's not just a group that's growing. There's some phenomenal leaders um, that are that are taking this thing to the top. You've got people in this room that just won a free trip to Mexico. We we run incentive trips, and we run our, our company, or literally we grow. Incentive to incentive, so you're always working to win incentive. The next time we're going to Ireland, right? Um, I can tell you, I don't know if you guys have been to Atlantis and Bahamas, but the place ain't cheap, and we went and expenses paid. The year before that, we were in Hawaii for, we went for, we stayed in our state, we stayed in Hawaii for 17 days. Um, it just allows you to live a life that you could never imagine. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want more out of life, this is an opportunity you can create whatever life you wanna live. Okay? We're going to help you dream again. I want you to stop looking at TV and going, those guys are lucky. They're not. They just made a choice of change. Okay, And if the business is for you and you want, A, more time with your family or more money because you're tired of waiting for your check to clear before you can pay your bills, then this is for you. And I'm going to tell you how it works. There's 50 bucks to be a distributor and you get it where you fit it. We've got different packs. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a 350, there's a 650, there's a 1250. And I'm going to tell you which one you should pick. You should pick whichever one, how serious you want to play with this. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're in a situation to where you just want to dabble and maybe make a couple of extra hundred bucks, then get in where you fit in, okay? But if you're looking at this going, you know what? I see it. I want it. Then the big pack's the way to go because this is all about duplication. Because when your friends do decide to do it, they're going to do what you do. And you get to pick which domino that is and how it's going to fall. So I'm not going to get really in-depth in the compensation plan, but we are a publicly traded company. We're doing about $200 million a year, and half of that gets paid to people like you and I. So if you really want to know how network marketing is, in traditional business, I, I use Amazon a lot. You guys have heard of Amazon? I mean, that guy is a multi-multi-billionaire. How is that helping you? You guys use it every day. You talk about it. He's, I mean, he's got so much money, there's nothing to do with. Who does that help? Nobody but him. That's traditional business. And this business model, when we're a billion dollar company, that means it's gonna change thousands of people's lives. That's the choice you get to make, is you can be that person. The exciting thing is as this company grows, you're helping a lot of people. It's the most powerful way to do business. And you can put anybody you want on the phone with me, and they ain't gonna change my mind, because I've seen it. I mean, I've, I've seen the big money, and I've, I've seen how that life works. When you've got time, that's all that matters, okay? So if you're a guest, get back with the person that invited you and just tell them where you're at. Again, we're not here to sell you. We're not here to convince you. The, I'm gonna tell you this in life, there's only one dumb question and it's the one you don't ask, okay? So ask the questions. We're gonna stick around. If you guys have to leave, be careful. These roads are crazy. Uh, so my, my mistake is I, I navigated here and I took the fastest route. So what was that road I ended up on? 638. 638. Bradshaw. I went through Bradshaw, but Bradshaw was nothing. Bradshaw was breeze. All I know is on one of the turns, I told Casey, I said, film this, because this is insane. And she started the camera, and I showed her my GPS, because it was like this. And the next corner, I couldn't turn. 
like the road turned so sharp, I was stuck. Stopped in the middle of the road, and like, I don't know really what to do. So, but yeah, you guys need this product more than anything. <laughs> right now. But uh, thank you guys for coming, and please stick around. Again, we're gonna, about five minutes, give you guys some time if you guys gotta leave, talk to your guests. Um, if, you're, if you guys really wanna know what this is about, again, ask the questions, and I'm gonna give you guys some training on how to build your business. These guys want to kick us out at 8.30 because the clock controls are light. So, um, but again, thank you guys for coming. We do have some doctors in the room. We've got some successful people in the room. So, again, we'll stick around and answer your questions. So.